Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Management Instrumentation Errors 1083. So it might say the executable program that the service is configured to run in does not implement the service. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and lock on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match should come back with services here. Go ahead and left click on that. And once the services have loaded, you want to go down to the Windows Management Instrumentation folder. So it should be pretty close to the bottom here. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Make sure server status is running as well as startup type is automatic. And then once you've ensured that, go ahead and click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, we want to go ahead and open up the registry editor. So go open up the start menu, type in REGEDIT. Best match to go back to registry editor, right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, before you make any modifications to the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if you ever have to go back, you would just left click on the file tab and then left click on export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. For file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is usually a smart decision. In my opinion, underneath export range, select all and then save it. And if you were to come back from that backup, you just would do file import and navigate to the file location. So pretty straightforward on that. So once you're done doing that, you want to go ahead and expand the H key local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing now for Microsoft, so expand Microsoft. So now you want to go down to Windows NT. Expand that. Expand current version. So now that we've expanded the current version, you want to go down to SVC host. Right here. On the right side, there should be something that says NETSVCS, so NET SVCS, all lowercase, right here. You can see it right on my screen. Go ahead and double click on that. So now there's a value I want you guys to add to this value data field. It's going to be in the description of my video, and I'm also going to probably have it on the screen of the video as well. So it's going to be W-I-N-M-G-M-T. That's how you spell it out. So again, W-I-N-M-G-M-T. Feel free to copy from my description and paste it directly in. It's just very important that you type it in exactly as it appears on my screen and in my description of my video. And on the screen, I'm probably going to actually have text over the video so to make it a little bit bigger for you guys too. It's just very important that you spell it correctly. I know somebody somewhere will find a way not to follow that direction, but for everybody who can understand direction, please just make sure you spell it as it appears. And then once that's done, go ahead and left click on OK. If it says anything cannot contain empty strings, go ahead and left click on OK. So there might have been an accidental space somewhere in there. Don't worry about it. So if we ended up double clicking on it again, scroll down, you can see that our value data includes what we just typed in. That's all that matters. Now that you've done that, close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.